many people have only understood the dimension of relationship with the Lord as children, where they are recipients of God's love and God's protection and God's blessing, where they are recipients of enough revelation to realize that Jesus Christ is who He said He is, the Savior, that calling upon His name produces within our life a change of heart and a life so that we have our names written in the look, Lamb's book of life. But they never move beyond that. They never be, move beyond that. They're not sons of God to maturity. They're just stuck as far as religion has allowed them to go. And thus a few have done the work of the many for the generations. By and large, the few have stepped in to the realms of the anointing to begin to function in the ministry of Jesus Christ. And furthermore, really the life of Jesus, so many people do not understand that if you lose your life, you can have the life of Jesus. And if you hang on to your life, you cannot. Knowing the Lord told us, Ann and I, about a year ago, that he was going to begin to open up the doors of the churches of America and send us he told me, he wanted me to go and tell the people to receive the life of Jesus. And, you know, tonight, there is absolutely nothing more important for you to grab a hold of the reality that the very life that God has, both in quality and quantity, is ours to the fullness that we are born into this with the opportunity to walk in all the fullness of God. You know, one of the great things that we read right off in John chapter 1 is as many as would receive him, he gave them the authority to be the sons of God. What great authority. As many as would believe upon his name, and his name is the name that has power over everything. And then he takes it to another level and he says that he has come and of his fullness have all we received. Grace for grace. And I, I know for certain that Father is looking for some people. His eyes go to and fro right now looking for some people to be caught away in the wind of the Spirit and want to live there. He's looking to raise up people. And I'm telling you, everything about your life, I'm telling you, everything about your life must change because Father wants to take you into a realm that is so different than what you are and what you know. It's true, and it's hard for people to believe it. But let me tell you something. Father can only take you as far as you're willing to obey. Father can only take you as far as you're willing to walk in obedience. That's it. Father can only take you as far as you're willing to be transfigured, to be conformed to the image of the Son. So many people come to crossroads in their lives, and they don't know why they can't move forward. It's because the Lord's screaming out, the way you're living doesn't work with my anointing. The way you're behaving and the way you're acting. And, of course, the little foxes are all the ones always spoiling the beautiful grapes that the husbandmen are producing. But there is a place to take a hold of Father and hunger and thirsting where the floodlight of heaven will shine upon your soul. Where you'll come and in, step into a response in this relationship with the Lord. Where I mean, my goodness, you have a conscious awareness of what is the will of the Father and when it is you're stepping out of it, even for a second. And suddenly when that kind of relationship begins to take place, you're about ready to step into some signs and wonders and miracles that will shock you out of your mind. You're about ready to step into a participation with the Holy Ghost, a sensitivity to Him. Not just to power. Tim was sharing with me did the other day. It was saying, you know, it's not just the power. It's not just the brute force that breaks the bowl of, of brass. You've taught my hands to work so that a bow of brass is broken with my arm. But it's also the sensitivity to the movings of God and the spirit that is more or less symbolized in the fingers that hold the, the arrow, that releases the arrow. Because it doesn't take a lot of strength there, just sensitivity. 